Good evening everyone, my name is Sylvia and I would just go in details like what had happened to me and to my people. On the 3rd of May, I had um, come from my village, I stay in cycles to Imphal since I had worked. And uh, in the evening, I was going to go back, go back to my village. But then since it was already pre-planned, -pre uh, because from Imphal, I have to cross uh, Meite villages. There's lots of Meite villages. I have to cross that. And uh, my friends, they were going to come and drop me. But then uh, we got to know that they are not allowing cookies, whoever are going to their village. And they're sending, by, uh, sending them back to Imphal. So even we, we got scared. We didn't want to step out anymore. So I stayed back in Imphal at my friend's place. And on the 4th of May, I was thinking if the situation is better, then I will go back because we were getting rumors that they started, uh, not rumors, we actually saw with pictures, videos, they started attacking churches and all. And on the 5th of May, the place where I was staying, which Auntie also mentioned, I was uh, stuck with my friends. We were staying in Hokipeng. And what they did around 12, 12 a.m., around 12 p.m., 1 p.m., they started coming. And they started first attacking the churches, a church, Hokivang Church, as you can see, the, uh, there was a picture also, which, one, uh, which the reverend showed. And they attacked the church, and afterwards the police started telling us, it's, it's very funny because the mob, when they came, they were escorted by the police. There were so many policemen, Manipur police as well, but they didn't do anything. They were escorting, they, they, they came, they attacked the, they burned the church, and after they finished burning the church, the police, uh, the Manipur police, they started telling us, whoever is inside the house, please go to First MR because they will come and attack you all again. So we all, we rushed, and I was um, holding my uh, friend's grandmother, very old, she was around 80, she couldn't walk, and she was telling me that, God has sent you uh, because there's no one to take care of me. And I took I took her and we all uh, escaped to First MR. And when I reached First MR, I was really shocked to see so many of my tribe, so many of the cookie people were already there. And there was literally no place to even sit. Some of us, I was sitting, I was actually standing even near the toilet because it was stinking and the food, uh, we were so many of us, that's why they couldn't even uh, give us the food. And I was thinking, what is this? They are not allowing us to go to our village, nor are they allowing us to stay in Imphal. So what should I do? And I was telling, they even came and interviewed me, and I was saying that we, we are not even feeling safe in our own state, in our own country. And uh, by the, uh, But we started hearing rumors that they, they are going to come and attack first MR as well. And they would come, we would hear the uh, police distracting them by uh, throwing the tear gas and all. And I was like thinking like I really need to go back home because uh, even if I die, or even if uh, I die, I want to I want to see my family for the last time and die. Sorry, I don't I don't want to cry. And then the uh, the army they came the next day. I slept in a car with a very compact, and my friend she had a six uh, she had a six month old baby, and we all were inside the car. There was mos like mosquitoes around, and it was so difficult. But still, we were like, even if we could just survive. And then the next day, <coughs> at night, the car uh, like um, around. 20 vehicles. We were going to go to Kampopi. That's a cookie dominant area, and uh, uh, like because we all were running. It, it's like a movie, you know, like you have seen a movie and actually you're experiencing it. And I was rushing to get in the convo. We all were struggling. We all were like pushing one another to just get inside the army convo or to, to just get inside the bus because we just wanted to be safe. And we were just like pushing one another. And uh, finally, we, um, around 20, uh, 20 vehicles we were going to go and I was in one of the convo. And uh, we were so stranded. It was so difficult to even breathe. And as soon as uh, we got inside, we were going and uh, we got attacked. We got attacked twice, uh, no, thrice we got attacked uh, in the Meite dominant area. They started uh, pelting stones, they started shooting at us and we were inside the convoy and they even started uh, throwing fire, you know, even if uh, whoever is inside, even if they, they get burned, like they don't care. And they started just like auntie said, they started uh, hitting the electric posts, you know, and they started hitting and they started gathering themselves. So many mobs came and uh, I was so scared when one of the army personnel was calling his officer and saying that, sir, if you want some reinforcement, we all are gonna die. None of us will survive. So that really shook me. Like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to die. I'm, uh, I'm facing death. And uh, at that moment, I was 
pray to God, Lord, I have accepted you and if this is your will that I'm going to die here, I am ready because I am safe. I know that my soul is safe because I have accepted you and I was preparing, literally preparing myself mentally to even uh, to, to die and I was thinking, okay, how are they going to kill us? Are they going to, because there was rumors that they were beating people to death. They were not even sparing women. They were beating women to death. They were shooting them. They were, uh, they were taking them as hostages. And I was like, if I had to choose, I was just like thinking in my mind, I was just talking with God. Lord, if these are the options, if they're shooting, if they're killing women to death, even people to death. And in that convo, women, we were only women of, we, we were there, only women were there. And if they're going to take us as hostage or I don't know, do what with us. And I was choosing, I was like, Lord, even if I have to die, I want to be shot dead, but not be beaten to death. I was just like talking, just like talking to God and God like, Though, that, though, though I hadn't confidence that even if I die, I'm gonna... Because I, it was just like I was facing death, you know, at that very moment. And then there, there was a calm in me because I know where my soul will be even if I die. And, um, and then the second time when they attacked us, uh, I, I just turned around and uh, though women were there, there was one little boy, he was around eight years old. He was telling his elder sister, Hey, oh, hey, oh, which means big sister, big sister, big sister, have we crossed the area? Have we crossed the meeting area? And he was like literally shaking and holding his hands and he was like praying to God and literally asking, looking at him, you know, I was actually, people were crying, but I was actually mentally making myself very strong. But looking at him, I was so scared because what trauma would he go through, you know? And I was praying to God, I was like, Lord, you are a God, you are a protector. Even though they have reached, even though they're going to come and attack us, we could literally see them, hear their voices. Now, if even if, if I hear military words, I, I get scared, you know. And I was like, Lord, you are going to protect us. And even though we were going to, even though they attacked us three times, and once we even had to hit in the Sekmai police station. And uh, finally, one of the uh, OC, he's a cookie from Supermaina, without listening to his officers he along with some of the cookie police they came and they rescued us and now if i look back it's all god's protection and the peace that god gave me was because i had uh, i had uh, i because i had accepted him but facing death like just facing death it was uh, like you you literally you you literally thought that you're gonna die and what we have gone through what the cookie community have gone through i pray that None, no community, no religion, no one will go through. That's what I want to share. Thank you.